While it might be coronavirus city outside, inside we're going to take a peek at the Alien Amplify and do a full setup of this guy. So let's tear into this guy. Welcome back to GeekSmart, and we're back with another setup video, and this is going to be on the Alien Amplify, um, or I should say the Amplify Alien uh, router. This is their new Wi-Fi 6 router. I am very excited to do this one. This one is one of those that I'm really hoping to get my hands on to, to really showcase what this thing can do. Um, but of course, in this video, it's going to be more on the setup side. So, as you can see, it's still sealed in plastic, uh, which maybe you got a little glare there. But that said, we're going to bring it in a little bit. We're going to tear this box open. We're going to see what it comes with. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, head upstairs and set this guy up quick and see how easy it is to set up. Hopefully, it's as easy as the Amplify HD, which, other than maybe the Amplify Instant, is the easiest router to set up, period. So, um, Amplify is known for their simplicity in setup but they're not known for their lack of features. They are an awesome router. Ubiquity makes fantastic stuff, and they amplify and the, the entire lineup that I've ever tried, I have been more than impressed with. So I'm really looking forward to this. So let's bring it in, let's tear the box open, and let's get started. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see it with the nice glare get off that plastic. With that said, we're we'll go ahead and open up the plastic itself quick. All right, and there we are. Slide off the top of the box. So as you can see, it kind of is a nice cylinder shape. It's not small by any means, at least by the photos here. Um, looks like we have our LAN ports on the on the the back. On the bottom, we have our uh, wide area port, and then the power, and then of course we have that nice screen on the front, as the other amplifiers used to have as well. So let's see what it actually looks like. <laughs> Look at that. Boom. That's a, a fairly large tower. So down here we have, looks like we have our standard stuff. You have download the Amplify app. Tells you pretty basic setup instructions. Uh, looks like six, to, or seven. Seven total steps. We have our ethernet cable, which in my setup I'm not gonna use, but it does come with one. Uh, actually a nice flat one. Yeah, not a bad little cable. And pull that open there. And then we have our power cable, which looks like a standard power cable. Um, Non-polarized. And that looks like that is it that comes in the box. That is as simple as we get. Like I said, I'm not gonna use this, but it does come with the, the um, I don't know if it's Cat5 or Cat6 cable, but it's just a simple flat. Cable kind of nice. Fly cables lay nice, which uh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, steps. So if we look at the card, what it's saying for steps is launch the Amplify app, power off your broadband modem, connect the Ethernet cable to this guy, connect the power adapter to it, connect the power adapter to the wall outlet, which it seems like <laughs> that would be the same step. Uh, power on your broadband modem, and then follow the instructions in the Amplify app to set up your Amplify router. So um, they also have an email and online help information. So if you need help, they do have that there. Uh, but that, like any other Amplify system, uh, is pretty simple. There is a QR code here that you can scan. I'm sure that just takes you to the app to download the app. But that's the cards it comes with. I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the app. Um, nice thing, it does come with Velcro pieces for the power cable. Um, and the Ethernet cable, was that also Velcro? Also Velcro on the Ethernet cable. That's a nice little, I mean, it's a, a simple, inexpensive touch that just, is just nice. So, um, there we go. Power. All right, let's open up the router itself. Do, do, do. And some tabs here, and some tabs down here. 
All right, get the plastic off. Stick that back in the box. All right, there. stay there. Uh, so on the back, like you like you saw on the thing, there are four LAN ports on the bottom. There is the wide area network port and the power port is down there as well. It's kind of hard to see, I guess the light, so you can kind of see there. And then of course on the front, we have this nice big screen, um, which basically is gonna give you your, your up, your down, all your information on your current status. So ubiquity logo on top. So that said, um, let's go upstairs. Let's plug, let's, um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my, my bonum here in a second on the way up i'm not going to film that and then we're going to actually showcase me taking out my um i have an app i'm still running the Eero pro system turning off the Eero pro and then switching over to this guy and then wrapping it back up so let's head upstairs okay so here we go uh, i have my main Eero here i did unplug the Eero and i have the power cable just ran down behind the piano here so what i'm going to do is plug in the so this cable right here actually goes down to my modem, directly into my modem, So, which is downstairs. So I'm going to plug that into the bottom down here. Oh, come on. It's the bad thing about having such a heavy cable. I'm going to plug the power into this guy here. There, she's lighting up, lighting up. All right, and then I have my secondary cable. This goes down to a um, my switch downstairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plug that into port number one. There we go, she's plugged in. And now my Euro is completely out of the equation. So we're gonna let it do its thing and then we'll be right back. Before we get started on the next section, we wanna make sure that we power back on the modem. So I did this before I went up to actually um, set up the main router or plug it in so now we're powered on it's going to take a few minutes for it to be up and ready but we can actually download the app and get ready to go with the Amplify so now that we have the modem turning back on it's telling us now download the Amplify app which I've already done and then uh, connect to the Alien Wi-Fi tells you the information uh, what the network name and everything is going to be so we're going to go do that and start the setup procedure. Okay, so here we are in the setup. So I'm in my Wi-Fi settings. I'm gonna connect to the actual Alien router itself. So once it actually connects, there we go. We have the check mark. We have to log in. Um, in this case, it automatically opened up the app. Name your wireless network. You can name it whatever you wanna name it. I'm gonna name, I'm gonna put my name, uh, my last name in here, and then I'm gonna create my password. Uh, once I do that, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my uh, my SSID or whatever I wanted my network name to be, put in my password. You can choose to have the same password as your administrator or you can uncheck that and create it your own password for that. I'm going to leave it as default. Setup will complete shortly. Oh, and then it made a noise out there. So I'll show you what that looks like out there. So there we are. It's um, after it made its noise. We can see there's seven wired network devices, two wireless devices currently. It's probably going to increase. It's given me my current down and upstream time, date. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's go look in the app. And of course, as soon as I hit stop recording, update available. I can actually do, probably do this from here. Update or dismiss. Let's just update it. Let's get it updated before we actually go through the setup. Let's go ahead and install. So I'm going to let the update go here. Once it's finished updating, then we'll go into the uh, Amplify app. At least it does tell you how much time is remaining on that update. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. The last 60 seconds have actually been a full countdown second by second. Pretty crazy. So let's see what happens here. Last five seconds. Two, one. I'm assuming a reboot. So the update is fully taken, I would think. Oh no, it's fully done. So there we are. Back up and going on. Yeah, now we have 22 devices on Wi-Fi, six on wired network. And there it is. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and go open up the Amplify app, which I have already downloaded from the App Store. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. Amplify would like to use Bluetooth. That's fine. I'm okay with that. So I hit continue. Welcome. Set up the Amplify mesh system. Set up uh, Amplify standalone mesh point. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Connect base cable. Connect power cable. Already done all this. Looking for Amplify devices. There's my device right there. And now I'm going to put in my password. So it's whatever you set up as your uh, admin password in the setup. So let me grab that real quick. So because I chose to keep the same admin password as my uh, standard password, I just did that standard password. Hit OK. Mesh point position metering. Okay, got it. Thank you. Everything is great. We just have the one point. Right now I don't have it set up as mesh because I only have the one router, but it is their their big one. And this one has a very large swath of area. So I'm I'm gonna actually before I actually go forth, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go double check to make sure that everything is good in that regard for the wireless points there. Um, but it looks like we can tap on the device to see the settings. So general we can see the name, we can change the time zone right now. It took Chicago, which is my standard time zone where I'm at. Um, I can reboot, I can do a factory reset from here. I can adjust the volumes of the, the uh, stuff out there. Uh, within the internet point, we have our DHCP, we have our IP address, we have everything that we're getting from there. We can choose to clan a MAC address, turn on bridge mode, whichever we would like there, wireless. We can change our password, we can show it, we can change security, uh, we can create different SSIDs for each individual stream that they have, which that's pretty awesome. Um, if you want to turn on your guest, you can do that in here. Um, band steering, router steering, you can do all that from within the wireless settings. Uh, the LCD display, it looks like we can actually dim it down, uh, turn on night mode if we want to have it on night mode, it looks like turns the amplify screen off at night. Oh, that's nice, so that makes it a little bit darker. Uh, and you can choose what time that begins and ends, so that's nice. Wi-Fi protected setup, enable for two minutes. Let's air, okay, so without entering your password, so that'd be like your WPS button. You can do that from within the app. We have a DHCP server, port forwarding. We can change all that information, firmware updates within the app. Obviously, you can also do it from the device when it asks you to as well. And now from here, we can see the devices. Uh, within those devices, you should be able to actually pause internet on any single device at any time. Um, so that's always great. You can also create a profile and loop, you know, bundle devices into a single people. So that's something I'm going to do eventually. You can see a lot of Brian's, Anna's, things like that, Carmen's. Uh, and we can go through that and I'll probably create a, like a smart home one. That's what I used to have for my Eero as well. Um, guest, which I currently don't have it active. Looks like you can actually start it and actually have it activated for a certain amount of time. That's pretty cool. A max amount of guests. Performance. We can actually see throughput at all times. That's awesome. We can actually do an ISP test. Let's do that. Let's see what we can get for our speed out of the ISP. And I pay for 200, so that's what I, I currently pay for, but typically I get a lot more than that. It all depends on what's going on. So let's see what happens here. So they're saying 228 down, 29 up. Um, I think I get, I pay for 220. So that's always a big bonus. So we can start those tests at any time. We can even diagnose um, and actually verify that everything is running. So if you have an issue, you can see what's causing your issue within here. So that's everything, that's the setup. I will honestly tell you, that's as easy as a setup as any Amplify system. You name it, you put a password on it, and it's set up. And then from there, you can obviously adjust and do certain things within it as well. Um, looks like you can, within the uh, the menu here, enable remote access. Let's do that. Let's hit there. Uh, and you can use Ubiquity, Google, or Facebook to create remote access. Remote access is so you can actually uh, adjust these settings and, and uh, monitor your entire uh, network from outside of your network. So as long as you, like, if you're on at work or somewhere away from your house, you can still see what's going on in your network and adjust things. Uh, and you can choose whichever way you want to do that. I'm not going to do that right this second. You know what? I'm going to do it real quick and then I'll, I'll be right back. Well, I signed in and, and that was it. it. It's done. So I should have remote access. Look at that. Boom. So that said, 
we have everything good to go. Everything's fully set up. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk around the house and see how she is. Well, I always figures while I'm doing setups, I get nice text messages and stuff about things that I'm doing while I'm doing it, but that's all right. Uh, but that's it. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching the video. Um, I'm very impressed with it so far, to be honest. I, I have only had it running for just a little bit. Obviously, I, I filmed it entirely. I walked around my house, inside the house, and uh, so far, I'm very uh, impressed. Now, I'm going to have full thoughts on my, from my review on TechGooch, so keep open for that one. I will put links in the description. I'll have a, a blank link basically saying coming soon until I actually have that, um, that review filmed. I'm not going to do that until I've had it for at least a couple weeks, so and that's not going to be something that's going to come right away. That said, um, I made a couple uh, changes um, I, not b before I even shot the video on how my house is laid out uh, because I knew going from a three-point mesh system with the Eero would not be a telltale, real, obvious showcase the differences when going to a single point system with this. You know, they definitely want you to, to set it up in the center point of your house best you can. So this morning, what I did is I ran cables to the center point of my house so I could put this as close to center as possible. Um, it's something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while and I didn't film that portion of it, but that is what I did this morning. So um, my modem is now downstairs out of sight. It's no longer blinding me at night with all of its crazy lights, which is great. I put that downstairs and then I ran high speed cable up to where the route, the, the modem or the router is going to be. And then another high cable back down to where my main 16 ports gigabit switch is for the entire house. So that's my setup. I'm still in the midst of doing more things with it. But uh, I try to wire as many things as I can. So I have a lot of things wired. Um, but obviously with a wireless router, a lot of my review is going to be on its wireless capability. This is a Wi-Fi 6 item. Um, my phone, the 11 Pro, is not Wi-Fi 6. So I'm not going to really be able to show you the craziness of how awesome the newest thing is. However, um, I am going to be able to tell how good the range is and how... Um, how reliable it is, things like that. So stay tuned for the review. That's coming soon. That's going to post a link down below for you. If you have any questions about this setup, please let me know. Comment, subscribe, share it, whatever. Uh, head over to um, techgooch.com. You can actually get a hold of me directly through techgooch.com. Um, and yeah, Amplify. It is crazy easy to set up. My grandma could do that. Um, it is, that's that's the best thing about the whole Amplify system, and the alien does not disappoint. So, thank you, Amplify, for sending this over. Ha! I have it backwards. There you go. Thank you for sending this over, because this is awesome. Um, it is big, I will say that. And, uh, yeah, hopefully the antennas work as good as the older Amplify HD system that I have done in the past, because that was second to none in terms of its range. So... That said, thanks for watching. If I ever do uh, happen to get a second one of these to do a mesh setup, that will also post the link down below to that. I'm hoping that I can uh, that I can swing that. Uh, but that said, thanks for watching. We'll catch you for for a future setup video here on TechGooch. Stay safe, guys.